Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick review of this knife here. Check that out. This is the Kaiser Splinter. The designer is Tomcat Knives. And this is actually a birthday present for a friend of mine. So, but this person let me, kind of like the bad man, let me go ahead and check it out first for y'all. Look at, man, Kaiser, their presentation. Got the cool pouch. Got the cool polishing rag. On top of that, a very cool box. Inside a box, it's like knifeception. Hold on, let me bring this up a little bit so y'all can see everything at once. Shaky, shaky. All right, let's open up the pouch. Very empty looking. So you're thinking automatically, where's the knife? Well, here it is. It's a little uh, flipper. A little titanium flipper. Very cool blade here. Don't need to open that end. This end is already open, sir. Fantastic. Look at that. You know what this reminds me of? Reminds me a lot of, as far as size-wise and the way it feels in hand, the Titanium ZT450. Which... Ouch. <laughs> there we go. On the way. I've been trying to break in that bench mate. My fingers hurt like a son of a gun. All right, so this feels a lot like that ZT450 as far as it's flipping open and the way it feels in the hand. Just a really cool little knife here. Where is it made? China. Can you see the sticker? Oh, yeah. Well, that sticker will come right off. That's just a sticker. That's not on the blade, actually. Well, it's on the blade, but it's not part of the blade. So, let's go ahead and get on into this. It just flips open awesome. Like every single Kaiser I've ever held... It flips open like a dream. So you got one, two, three, about three and a half inches. You know what kind of steel this is? I do. This is S35VN. Yeah, go check out how much this knife costs and then realize you're getting S35VN for that. This is unbeatable as far as a smaller flipper, titanium flipper type knife. If you're looking at, a, or if you have, something like the ZT450 titanium, and you're thinking you want something similar but a little bit different, this one will just scratch that itch nicely. Look at the way that blade is. What is that kind of worn cliffy sheep footy? I don't know. You tell me, I think that's kind of worn cliffy, wouldn't you say? A little sheep foot thing working there with a worn, a worn foot, a sheep cliff. All right, it's got titanium frame lock on this bad boy. Let's check out the length of this thing one two three four so you got four inches of handle there the reason it's so hard to open on this side is because you're pressing on that lock there but I have chunky fingers because of the way this is the pivot set up with this forward this first grip here you're kind of losing about what three quarters of an inch of handle but you still have plenty plenty in your hand so you can still see a bit of that coming out the side there. This is not going anywhere. It does not feel like it's loose or anything like that or I'm missing a pinky. It, it feels really good. Of course, it's flipping open like a dream. I really like this clip. Isn't that cool? It's got like a blue anodization. This whole thing, this whole handle is rainbow, almost like a mother of pearl, shiny rainbow, abalone kind of look in the sun see different colors kind of thing to it you know what I'm talking about I think you do all right so let's check this out here I thought he had a little grab on the end here maybe a little bit uh oh uh oh uh oh I think I can feel the blade right there just a little bit better be careful all right you happy birthday person be careful but it's not an issue. It's not going to poke you. I got my finger jammed up all the way in there. No pokies. Left, right. Tip up carry. Check that out. They made a little thing. So if you're Kaiser, Kaiser junkie, you know that's... I don't know. Is it Kaiser? No, it's not. It's Wii. Wii. Bad Wii. So I don't know about the other Kaisers, but this has left, right, tip up carry. Has a nice area in there for a lanyard. So you can get 550 in there very easy. Half half construction to open construction there. 
Let's check the inside out. Of course, there's no liners. This is all titanium. All titanium handle. This thing flips on bearings. Just like a dream. Just not even a problem with that thing. I can't get over how it feels like the 450 series, though. It's about the same weight, I believe. Let's check that out. This is going to be a quick review. Just a quick review. If I had a 450 with me, I'd break it out and show you. Unfortunately, I am not a 450 person anymore. All right, so 2.5 ounces. Wow, this is like pocket chunker weight if it wasn't so long. But that's nothing. 2.5 ounces. That's perfect for somebody that's not looking for something too obtrusive in their pocket. I just love the way these things flip. Every single Kaiser. You know, hold on a second. Okay, I lied. Here we go. There's the 450 carbon fiber. And here is the Kaiser splinter. You can tell they're similar, right? And if this was the titanium version of this 450, you'd even know even more. Check this out. About the same, 2.47, 2.40. A very similar feel in hand. Here, I'll check it from this side. See what I'm talking about? Very similar. Oh, almost dropped it. So, I was not lying. I was lying about having a 450. I forgot about this one. This one won't be here very long. It's on its way out the door. All right, so get back to the Kaiser. Bad TV, bad TV, Jimmy Slash. Just a cool, excellent opening knife. Excellent in hand, especially if you're wanting something lighter. This is not quite what I would want as my main EDC, but as a secondary pocket EDC, sure. Or even a little pocket chunker you're gonna pull out and impress somebody. Because of the weight, and you got a three and a half inch blade on something that's two, two and a half ounces, that's insane. That's awesome. And that kind of steel on a pocket chunker that's two and a half ounces with a three and a half inch blade that's got enough handle for my chunky fingers. Try and find that everywhere. You're not going to. So I think, in my opinion, Kaiser, good job here. Good job on the splinter. Good job on the clip. Good job on everything. Good lockup, good centering, good everything on this thing. Just, just a really, really good knife. And if you go check them out, I don't want to say how much they are because it's a birthday present. And if I do, then this person's going to, I mean, I don't know. It just seems tacky. But just go check it out. Of course, the presentation, very cool. Nylon case. Cool cleaning rag. Sweet box. I mean, if it just came in that box, that would be cool. But nice hard box. All right, this is going out for a birthday present. But this is the Kaiser Splinter. A pretty cool knife, it's especially for those people that like the smaller, lighter things for their EDC. That's a great EDC. It's got a nice nice blade for EDC. Good size blade, three and a half inches. You can't go wrong with that. All right, let me think. Is that it? Yep, I lied to you once. That's check. I redeemed myself, check. Okay, yeah, I think we're all good. All right, like here, subscribe here if you will. Leave me a comment down here. Do you have a Kaiser? Let me tell you, I have a, a couple Kaisers and I have a couple on the way, I believe. I think I have a mass drop Kaiser coming. I gotta check that out. They all flip like dreams. And if you don't have one and you like flippers, I think you're missing out. And if you like smaller flippers and you, you're looking at something, this one is nice. This one's a good one. It's going to cost you probably about, you know, 30 bucks less than a ZT450. Quality's there. Blade steel's there. You can't go wrong. All right. Leave me a comment down here. Let me know what you think. Is this up there on your list of things to get? And I will talk to you all later. Oh, hey, guys. I was going to let you all know. I started a Facebook group page for the channel, and it's going to be a page where we can go on there and talk about paid forward, talk about giveaways. I'm also going to set up a thing where we can do some knife sales on there, 
we're gonna be it's gonna be highly regulated as far as knife sales just because I don't want anything kind of fishy going on as far as people getting you know messed around and screwed out of their good money or their good knives so there's gonna be a lot of I'm gonna try to vet as much as possible the people that are selling not the main people but somebody that might sneak in I'm not talking about you I see you eyeballing me like oh, you don't believe in me I believe in you I believe in you but I'm gonna leave the, the link down here it's a invite only group page so just send me a link and I will let you in let me know who you are on the YouTube channel most likely I'll just let you in anyways I'm most people that know about this are going to be through the channel or my friends or something else. So just send me in a request for invitation and I'll put you through. I think it'd be pretty cool to get more information out there and maybe get some more people involved and pay it forward. And maybe do some kind of uh, Facebook, YouTube, cross-sectional giveaways. All right, now I really let you go. Talk to y'all later.